Unilever Kenya plans to start generating its own electricity in a bit to lower its cost of operations. The firm has lodged an application for a license with the Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority, EPRA, to generate, transmit and distribute power for use within its estate in West Kenya area that encompasses Kericho and Bomet counties. Elsewhere, the government has indefinitely extended the suspension of avocado exports, citing prevalence of immature avocados in the market. In a notice, the Agriculture and Food Authority's director, Benjamin Tito, resulted to suspend harvest of Hassan Forte avocados, while harvest of Jumbo avocados will continue. AFA says harvest and export of premature avocados has negatively impacted the image of Kenyan avocados in the overseas market as well as interfering with the crop cycling of trees. And finally, the International Finance Corporation has extended a loan to guarantee Trust Bank Kenya for forward lending to local businesses in the country. The 1.5 billion shilling loan to GT Bank Kenya is part of the 800 billion shilling IFC Fast Track COVID-19 facility launched in 2020. The loan will be used to support local SMEs, including those with cash flow disruptions by the COVID-19 pandemic. GT Bank Kenya will provide access to the facility mainly to small and medium enterprises. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.